online e cosa c'è sta vai That was Fraser Fulton and Fat Chance right here in the sessions on 107.6. I've been joined in the studio with the Tesla Coils. Hello, guys. Good evening. Hello. 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 Thank you very much for coming and thank you very much for coming back. Thank you. Um, we've met before. I've interv interviewed you guys on here before two years ago. Yeah, I think it was. It was early a year and a half ago, some point. And then we all gigged at the Altered Sky gig, didn't we? That yeah. was Halloween 2017-ish. Very spooky time. It was. Oh, um, Tell me a bit about yourselves, tell me a bit about the band. Oh, we come from uh, the toxic hotspot that is Dunbar. Okay. Uh, and we all met in the music cupboard at the music room in Dunbar Grammar, where we were all deployed because we were too unruly in class or something <laughs> too like that. Abstract yeah, too abstract for mainstream. Yeah, too abstract for it. So, yeah, we went there and then we just hung out and played, what was the bad covers we used to play? Uh, it was like yeah, Muse and on. Oasis and stuff. Then. Okay. And then we became pals afterwards and met up and started to make music again. Right, and we're here to promote some gigs, we're here yep. to promote an EP, we're here to record some live music. Yeah, yeah sure, um, give me two seconds and we'll get stuck we'll in with the first track. Cool. Um, we're going to move on, we'll, we'll talk about the gigs and EP separately and we'll repeat ourselves right at the end of the shift, sure, the end of the man. show. Um, I'm just looking for the first lot of stuff we recorded for you guys, just give me a second. Cool. That'll do it in there. Um, tell me a bit about the first track we're going to do. Uh, well, the first song's called Asthmatic's Howl. Okay. Um, and I d well, I'm an asthmatic. Are you an asthmatic, T? I used to be one. Yeah, were you an asthmatic at one point? No. You ever been an asthmatic, Elmo? Uh, when I was a child, yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, this is, about, this is one for the asthmatics there, and it's about not being afraid to be asthmatic. <laughs> now you should not let it rule your life. Okay, just give me two seconds, and cool. then I'll give you a thumbs up and go when, go when you're ready. Cool. Yep, on you go, guys. Brilliant, cool. Cast it away for a new man as well. I give an answer for all of your eyes.
asthmatic howl, asthmatics howl, <laughs> uh, performed with a Tesla coils right here in the sessions on 107.6. Um, when I'm listening to bands like you guys and we've got people in for live sessions, I always try and pick out a word or pick out a chord sequence or something to, 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 me, to mention, to talk about. And that enough coffins away, enough coffins and asthmatics, I think that's really clever chord. That's fine. Uh, Thank you. Quite, quite good one. Um, I was looking through some of the older stuff we had here, and you had um, Apes Gone Wild. There was a few interesting lyrics in that one, uh -huh. too. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, Just, aye, it's fun to put stuff like that in. I was like, wordplay, like that Slade song where he says, and you've been Slade. Uh huh. But mm -hmm. well, that could mean you've been on a sleigh, but it could mean the band, but it could also mean you've been like. Um, uh, Seed. Uh, Seed. Yeah, <laughs> right, uh, if people are tuned in on our Facebook feed and tuned in on FM, we must explain that you guys are normally. A full band setup. You know, we've got a full drum kit. You know, uh, we've got a bass player. It's almost a folky thing you've got going on tonight. Yeah, yeah. well, we all quite like folk music and stuff. It's all quite interests us, and so it's nice to do stuff like this. We'd so love to be able to get the folk stuff in here, though. Uh, I know, I mean, yeah, we've just not got the space. Pull so the windows off the place. Yeah. But uh, it sounds great. I'm really enjoying myself so far, guys. Yeah. And if people are tuned in on our Facebook, have you guys got a Facebook page? We or do. Twitter feed? Yeah, we've got. We're just uh, the Tesla coils on Facebook. If you do the little slash thing and then Tesla coils, that's us. Uh, but there's this weird Australian band, a guy with a big beard, but ignore them. That's not us. That's not you. Yeah, right. yeah so there's that. And um, we got Bandcamp as well. Okay. That's quite a... Uh, YouTube channel or Spotify yeah, got, or anything up on? We've got, no, Spotify freaks us out a bit, but YouTube. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, we've got, we've got, we've got videos on there from our live stuff. Yeah, right, so. so most of the, some of the social medias you've got, that's fine. Yeah. Um, let's move on to the second track. Cool. Uh, the, the second track is called The Organist. Uh, okay. Yeah. And it's about organist again in many different um, ways, many different kinds of organs. Okay. Uh, uh, give me two seconds. I'm going to nip outside and switch off that radio that's outside. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I can certainly hear it. And I can squeeze past guys. In the just, background, just, yeah. Yeah, sure. just go when you're ready. Cool. You leave the studio just for a second. Sure. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm doing things. Sweet. Okay. So the organist. Get your organs ready. <laughs> Gonna go for it, man. Just when things seem to have settled. 
They hand lighters to the kids of heavy men. Tesla Coil right here in the sessions on 107.6. It's always a pleasure having you guys in. It's always good fun. My face is always sore after meeting you guys just from smiling and from laughing. Um, in a good way, though. In a good way. Good times. Good times. Good times. Good times. Um, Christmas. Have you guys got the gigs coming up? We do. Uh, we, we are a week from Christmas. I don't know if anybody's watching this in a month's time or two months' time. We are a week from Christmas. Um, but do you have any gigs in kind of January, February time? We do, but before that we got a gig in December. Right, okay, give me that one first. We're keen. Uh, <laughs> this one's on the 30th at the Masons Hall in Dunbar. Uh, Freemasons are a little bit scary, but we're willing to broaden our horizons. Okay, um, and then, Yeah, and then on the 2nd of February we're playing in Banshee Labyrinth. In Banshee, right, okay. And possibly more in the future, but those are the... Those are the two big ones. Two big ones guys. Banshee Labyrinth in Edinburgh on the 2nd yeah. and the 30th in the Mason's Hall uh -huh. in Dunbar. Are they tickets? Are these paid no, the door? No, you just turn up on the door and on the Mason's, uh, the one in the 30th. Uh, and I think it's pretty much the same on the February one too in the 2nd. So and turn. roughly what times do you know? Uh, the Mason's one I think starts at 2 till as late as whenever. Uh, and the February one is a, I think a 7. Doors open and then we're on at like 9 or something. Okay. Um, well, we'll give them a wee shout out later on in the show. Cheers. Um, let's move on to the third, the third track, the third one. Tony would like to introduce this one. So I'd just like to start out by saying that this is a cover, and it's by the great John Fogarty, and it's going out to a pal of mine that's listening. Uh -huh. so this is for Colin and his dogs. He's a closet listener. He doesn't. He's too afraid to phone in. Okay. And what's the track called? Bad Men Rising. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's a cover. <laughs> on you go, guys. So they want to do a werewolf thing. <laughs> that was classy. Well past our window. Love it. <laughs> <laughs>
that was Bad Moon Rising performed by the Tessa Coils right here in the sessions on 107.6. Again, that's normally a big sound, kind of yeah, more folky thing going on guitars. tonight. More guitars, more solos, more loads of stuff going on Aye. there. Um, Cami on my left here changed from his drumsticks to his hands there, so that was quite an interesting one for me mixing that on the fly, so thanks for that, Cam. Keeping it fresh. Yeah, keeping it fresh, <laughs> song on song, with the Ruthie at the start and then the drums. But it was alright, we managed, it was fine. Um, you've handed me an EP, uh -huh. tell me more. You handed me one before, is this the same one? No, this is different, a this different one. one. Yeah. Okay. Improved we one. recorded this one with our bearded leader, Mr John Welsh. He's like this really, <laughs> leader, uh, right? okay. he's this really cool guy. Just, comes to our gigs and he's very supportive and then we went to his living room once and he had uh, bed cloths up on the walls right. and he the tea and we recorded in his living room. Yeah, it was this crazy. sounds that, all kinds of strange. That was no, it was good. Like it was, okay. Yeah, it was fine. So good. But uh, yeah, we recorded and we recorded four tracks and he mixed them and made them good because he knew what we sounded like live so it kind of sounds like that which is okay. good. Um, and was it all done in one take, or was it all done as a live setup, or was it yeah, multi-tracked? Yeah, basically it... just like a live, then we recorded vocals on okay. top. Um, and is it commercially available, or is it...? Uh, it's, uh, two of the tracks are on Bandcamp, but you can get them for free, like, we don't charge if you want to pay money, that's cool, but... But they're a free download? Yeah, on whatever Bandcamp. I feel like. Uh, so check out Tessa Calls on Bandcamp, go and look at some of their sure. tracks. Um, we'll mention your gigs again before we finish up, and we'll mention your Facebook pages before we finish up. But uh, let's move on to the fourth song. Cool. Do somebody else want to explain this one? <laughs> well, I'll explain it the best we can. So, this is sort of just Connor being Connor. The, the song's called Mushrooms. And, uh, yeah, it, it's sort of spoken wordy, sort of, there's no real rhyme or reason to it yet but it's fun hi but you guys play too so it started off like spoken wordy but then you just joined in and it sounds quite cool okay so it's all about how much we hate mushrooms <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay well, yeah. prepare yourself oh, on you go on your ready guys cool all right Mushrooms are mushrooms, you won't take me to my grave. No, mushrooms are mushrooms, you won't take me to my grave. No, mushrooms are red rooms, are alchemists, are dust and brooms, are mushrooms, are mushrooms, you won't take me to my grave. Ow! Oh, you sing it. Ow! Yeah. Ow! Brother. Ow! Ah, oh, mushrooms are mushrooms, you won't teach me to behave. No, mushrooms are mushrooms, you won't teach me to behave. No, mushrooms are times loom or rednecks on algae bloom. Ah, oh, mushrooms are mushrooms, you won't take me to my grave. Ow! 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 Mushrooms are mushrooms, keep your spores out of my dreams. No, mushrooms are mushrooms, keep your spores out of my dreams. But if I had a time machine, I'd erase you and goddamn aubergines. Oh, mushrooms are mushrooms, keep your spores out of my dreams. Ah, tell the kids that I close. Oh, mushrooms, oh, mushrooms, oh, fry one the royal seats. No, mushrooms, oh, mushrooms, oh, fry one the royal seats. For they clean with linen sheets, but fungus grows between their feet. Oh, mushrooms, oh, mushrooms, oh, fry one the royal seats. Ow! Hit me, Jesus! Ow! Sing it again. Ow! Ow! One more time. Now, mushrooms, oh, mushrooms, you take me to my dream. No mushrooms, no mushrooms. Won't you take me to my dreams? Not mushrooms, not mushrooms. No, not mushrooms. Mushrooms are mushrooms. Won't you take me to my dreams? Wow. That was mushrooms performed by Cod and the Tesser Coils. Um, <laughs> I have not had my wife in, and the boys are laughing here. Um, thank you very much, Scott. That was totally something different. Yeah, yeah. We've, um, we've had spoken word artists in here before. Oh, really? Yeah, we had um, Imogen Sterling, was a young lady who was doing a fringe show a few months oh, back, cool. and she did nothing like that. But she did a spoken word set with oh, her guitar player that did the odd chord and the odd sound effect and the odd thing. So we have had... Cool. That's a thing. That's cool. That is a thing, yeah. It's, it's uh, like very us. interesting. Yeah. 
Mm. I want I want confidence to do that. So. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Old, old, Bags yeah, off good, there. Good. Nah, I'll, 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 I'll take a time machine and erase mushrooms and aubergines. They're the worst and, food ever. Oh, aubergines and mushrooms. Aubergines are disgusting. <laughs> Misaka. <laughs> they came up with that. <laughs> no, no, I don't want to go into any further. There was once... We, sorry, I'm, I've, I've, my, my mind's gone elsewhere. Um, mushrooms will do that to you. Yeah, yeah, mushrooms well, might depends do that. what kind of mushrooms you're on. It depends what you're doing. It's a family show. Not family. those mushrooms. Um, we've kind of gone a bit off beast because of mushrooms and we've gone a bit of. Because we know each other, we've done this yeah. before. We've kind of gone a bit informal, which is fine. But we discussed yeah. it off air um, Fraser Fulton. Uh-huh. And we mentioned that he was performing and it was uh, his band Noah Noah. And then there was talk about his. Uh, anyway, going way, way, way back. Back to when I was 15, 16, there was a band called The Legas who I've got in the system who sang a song about onion rings. See, Very that... same idea, what? same concept. It was a punk song about onion his rings. hatred for mushrooms. He hates right. mush- onion rings. He I, hates I can it. understand that. Yeah. They're, yeah. Onions, I think the rings are the best part. The actual onions are the oh, first yeah. part. Yeah. Right. Have the batter. Good what were the band called that did that? Legless. Legless. Yeah. Like the guy at Lord of the Rings? Uh, no. Oh. Like, the, like I'm drunk. Like you're drunk. Oh, yeah. okay, cool. But nothing to do with mushrooms. <laughs> you could do batter mushrooms, that's a bit like a Oh, mess. no, even worse. <laughs> Keep the juices out. Right, <laughs> let's move on. Let's change the subject from battered vegetables and whatever else. Or technically mushrooms aren't vegetables. Fungi. Oh, fungi. yeah, funguses, yeah. Spores. Fungi. Spores, yeah. <laughs> oh, whatever. Right, enough nonsense. Um, before we move on to our fifth and last song, I hope it is a song. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind. Honestly, I don't mind. Um, tell me your Facebook page again. How can people be in touch? And your next two big gigs. Cool. So our Facebook page is just if you go on Facebook, it's just the Tesla coils with the little slash beforehand, uh, and there's pictures of us, and it's like yellow and black font if that helps. Uh, and then our gigs are there's one on the thirtieth at the Mason Hall. At Dumba. the Mason Hall. Yep. Excuse me, please. And there's one on the second. Sorry, one on the second of February at the Banshee Labyrinth in Edinburgh. And the tickets on the door? The tickets are on the door, yeah, just grab them on the door. And it's uh, the one on the Banshee is at 7, and the one at the Mason's Hall is at 2, till whenever. Hope to see you all there. Yes, yeah, hope, hope to see everybody out there that's uh, supporting be. local gigs and local bands. Um, so, guys, thank you very much for coming. Oh, man, thanks uh, for having us. Uh, anytime. It was enjoyable. Um, more than welcome, anytime you've got any more gigs to promote, anything else, any more EPs or singles you're releasing, be in touch and I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Tell me... Finally, about your fifth and last song. Uh, the last song's called The Dimming Bulb. Uh, <laughs> okay. It's not about flowers, it's about getting older um, and things like that. And No, it is, it's quite a serious subject. Um, so yeah, I'm only, okay. I'm only kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> but yeah, it's about getting older and it's about Sudoku and stuff like that. So. Okay, I'm just keeping it light. Go when you're ready. Cool, alright. <laughs> The diamond bulb shines upon iron sentries jittering the railways. The diamond bulb, master nuclear fusion between many idyllic centuries.
performed by the Tesla Coils. Right there at the end, according to Tony, there was a bit of a uh, Axel Rose, Axel Rose, Guns N' Roses thing was going on there. Aye, 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 the closest yeah. thing to harmonising we'll ever, ever do. do. Yeah. I, I did wonder, guys. <laughs> <Anyway. but> <laughs> thank you very much for coming. I'm, I'm, I'm actually sore from smiling because you guys are so much fun. Um, <laughs> you can catch you guys at the Mason's Hall on Bar the 30th of December. That's the night before All Just Night. Yep. Uh, and the so. 2nd of February. Is that right? Yeah, that also, man. Uh, the Banshee Rap Labyrinth at Edinburgh 7 pm. Tickets uh -huh. on the door. Is there other bands playing that one? There is. Uh, there's uh, the one in Banshee has got. Uh, it's, it's called Kings Indian. They're a band from Fife, and there's uh, Sandy Power who's from Fife, and there's another band who is of yet unknown name. So they'll be there. Sandy Power is really good. Yeah. I know the name. I haven't. Cool guy. Oh, what a voice, man. Cool I know the name. Ever. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for coming Thank in. you very much. Uh, please be in touch in the future. Let me know well, what's going on. Give could, me a wee message. Could we do? There's. I want to just do that, all right, man. Uh, of course, guys. Our old bassist Connor, uh, what Douglas should be listening, so just say hello to him and hope he is well. Uh, and also, there's a gig on at the Parish Hall in Dunbar on Friday, which is, I think, Logan's Close, Nick Tate and the Sharks, and Yoko Pono. And that is also good, and there are pals and people They, haven't, you should be, go to they haven't been in touch. I know, I suppose. I cool. had um, Logan's Close in here six months ago, and they had um, Yoko Pono and Nick Tate and the Sharks playing, and oh, they right, haven't been in touch geez. to promote this one. Well, get you know, the Dunbar music scene sorted out. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Dunbar, where down, are you? They should, have been been. Oh, they should have been in. Anyway, I've said it already, guys, but thank you very much and uh, be in touch. No, um, I'm going to continue the sessions tonight with a track from a band called Stanton. This is Catch That Train. <laughs> 